Hey buddies, welcome to Video Games Awesome Live! Today we're playing the much-anticipated Disco Elysium, finally on console and supported with controller. It was, uh, for a long time relegated to only people on... Okay, Hugo, I know, I'm, I got my show voice on. You're gonna leave? <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. He's just complaining that I started tracking loud. He was lounging here. Oh my god. And now he's just like, ah! Disco Elysium! It won the award for best narrative, I think, at the VGAs, um, beating out a whole bunch of big AAA studios. And I don't know a lot about it. All Me I know either. is that it's got. I think I know one thing. It's like it's you've got voices in your head, and you're a detective. Oh. So what do we got here to start? And create if, your it, own. if you're a long time terrible, you already know this, but if you're in case you're not, or in case you forgot, we don't want fucking any information. I don't want to be like, I don't want to hear, man, oh, it's too bad you didn't, oh, it's too bad you didn't do that. Mm. Oh, wow, you really just, you just You ruined like, your experience you just, by picking sensitive. You just missed out on a bunch of things. Oh, <laughs> wow, mm, I expected you to do that. Mm. I don't want to hear any of that. That's not spoilers, <laughs> but it's annoying as fuck. I don't want to hear that shit. Act as though this game just came out and you've never played it and you're uh, watching somebody play it. You have no idea what's gonna happen. It was PC Game of the Year, best narrative, best RPG, best indie, and best debut game. Oh, this is interesting. And I will ask you sometimes if I want your opinion in that case. Like, in this case, I might say, do you think I should create my own? Like, it looks like it's based on these, five, these four stats down here. Right. So there's pre-made archetypes. There's physical, extremely physical, interacts with the world through his body, gets things done, but dumb as a rock. Hand-eye coordination. I have, I think I was also told by people that this has, this is like the old days of Fallout where if you make a dumb character, your character will have truly dumb responses only available to you mm. and stuff. And the same goes for like, this is like, what we wish the triple A's would be is what I've heard. Mm. Extremely physical. It gets things done, but dumb as a rug. Hand eye coordination. So they are suggesting create your own yeah. just so you can see also, like, okay. what the options are. Very psychological and magnetic personality, but unstable. The sensitive type might begin to lose his mind. Okay. Extremely intelligent, very bad with people, knows interesting facts, comes up with original ideas. All right, let's check out Create Your Own here. So you've got, oh, I love this setup. Ooh. So Blue and orange are beautiful. Intellect, raw brain power, how smart you are. So this is the amount of, you, you can store these points, I, I would assume. So if you take two away from here, yeah. you have two more. So you put them all there. down to low, and I have that many points. Right. And you could just go like, <laughs> you could do that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's, has anybody done that? Just started with just a horrible character? Uh, intellect, psyche, sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. So that's probably a combination of both charisma and empathy and intuition, I would imagine. Physique, musculature, how strong you are, and then uh, agility, I guess, yeah. There's some um, dexterity, your senses, how agile you are. Your senses, that's also intuition. It looks like, okay. Um, can I play or not do it? Mm. He won't last in this world. <laughs> Just all terrible. <laughs> I mean, there is a hardcore mode. So you can be up to genius on and then you can just be weak as fuck on the other ones. Oh, not knowing, I don't know. Kind of a, I'm gonna go back to the archetypes again and see what they're kind of like. So when they put together a thinker, they suggested, oh, they, they were okay, like the, the computer, I mean, you know, the suggested archetypes include one. Right. So that's not gonna like destroy your, like it's not gonna to make it impossible one. to play to have one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was just like wondering that kind of thing. Like, am I completely nuking my chances if I put it on one in physics, in physical one, two, ability? One, two, five, four are there. There's sweet numbers they used here. Well, this is weird. The physical guy only has... Wait, what? Oh, PSI psych. is psych. And agility is he's four. Psyche. 
sensitivity. And so FYS is physical. No. What is it then? I'm so confused. Create your own. What is the thing at the bottom, plus encyclopedia, plus inland empire, plus hand-eye coordination? Are these bonuses to these archetypes? You get a better breakdown on the next page oh. if you want more details. Oh, okay. okay All right. Thanks, guys. FYS is physical. Physique. Yeah, that's so weird. Oh, physique. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you can just go straight average across the board, but I mean, that's kind of boring, right? Let me just go to the next page here with okay. average across the board and see what this does. Oh, okay. All right. And you're... So these... I can't do it twice to one. And you can only have one. And I can one. only choose one. You're allowed to choose... You're allowed to... You're only allowed you only one. One of all of these. Rhetoric looks like he's barfing. You would have thought that, like... Oh wow! And then there's oh, a bunch of shit here. Goodness. You would have thought that like your this would be you would if you put tons of points into one. Does it lock out certain if I like say I'm sorry this I'm always curious about these types of things. Like if I go genius but none in everything else. What does that does it lock out stuff down here? No, it doesn't. Mm. That's weird. Like you'd think that by being one on these, I would I would get less ability to take them. Like you can be a genius, but be like have a signature move of like fucking hand-eye coordination or well, I mean that's okay. Wow, there's a lot to choose here though. Um, and this art is gorgeous. Uh, read the info on genius. It shows you the downsides of being too maxed out. Oh, okay. Where under intellect here, or if you, where do you go read that? back a page, uh, well, how do can you, you select? Can, no, I you can't. can't cause it's, mm. Where do I read that? So I mean the intellectual skills. Yes. Oh, also in here is where they give you clues. Um, oh, info R one. So where do where would I see such a thing? This um, the points on the first page show you how much you can max out what's on the second page. Oh, oh, okay. So this means like over time, later when I get more points to put into these things, mm -hmm. I can keep growing with all this. this is, it's your capacity, your intellectual capacity. So I can only put one point into oh. these. Forever, I think, maybe, unless I level up these other things. So that's what it is. It's your upper limits, All is what they're right, saying. Alright, okay. That's so it does cool. have to do with. So the, mm. these points. Okay, alright, I'm gonna do a bit of reading, because this game matters, and I think I'm gonna long haul it. Mm. Alright, so signature skills. Cool. <laughs> For analysis. I don't wanna read it all, but I mean, maybe the overview. We'll draw an intellectual power, deduce the world. So your ability to be logical. At high levels, logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzles. Mm. Oh, okay. That's like so they start with a blurb and then the real actual nitty gritty. Yeah. You'll be very proud and thus susceptible to intellectual flattery. So you'll be susceptible to flattery. Okay. More susceptible to flattery because you're a genius and you're you have a big ego. Mm. With low levels of logic, you're going to have a hard time sh solving the simplest puzzle. Uh, even if you find the pieces, good luck putting them together. <laughs> You're a detective. Oh my god. <laughs> At high levels, Encyclopedia shares this wealth of knowledge in an almost uh, overwhelming oh. degree. While you may crucial breakthroughs that more often clutter your mind, and useless tidbits. Oh. With low levels, Encyclopedia, though, you'll be forced to work with only the clues in front of you without any background knowledge. Copying is going to be tough stuff. Uh, at high levels, rhetoric will make you an impressive political beast, one whose beliefs are impenetrable, which is to say, one whose mind will not change, one who will calcify. With low rhetoric, though, you will have a hard time with shooting down an argument, nailing people with, so it's your conviction, your rhetoric, and your, your dogma. 
Okay. Nailing people to their testimonies will be nay impossible. Drama. At high levels, drama may render you insufferable, an insufferable thespian. One may be prone to hysterics and bouts of paranoia. For to know the world is to is a stage, is to know the truth is vanity. However, with low drama, you cannot lie or discern when others lie. And a cop who can do either, who can't do either, is a cop who's going to soon be lying six feet under. Um, how quickly, uh, how, like, do these, how do you, are these points just earned by, like, new points to put into these things earned by leveling? And does it take a long time? Or will you find yourself being able to, like, go full into one really early if you wanted? Or are they doled out super slow? Like, if I want to, oh, yes to what, Brad buddy? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Not a long time. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Not a long time. So you could, like, be like, I want to be a really dramatic character within the first hour of gameplay, maybe two hours of gameplay. I want to max this out. I want to be just a, a drama queen immediately. Talking to people and making decisions, yeah. At high levels, conceptualization makes you go big, perhaps too big. It is ostentatious, demanding grand displays. Why live life when you can throw yourself into a live volcano? At low levels, however, you'll be unable to see the world in creative light. You'll be unable to contribute to conversation. Should I try to just make myself? I was wondering if you were going to try to do yourself and or like really a duck. And really roleplay? You can't make a duck. Yeah. You're, you're playing a guy. Yeah. At high levels, visual calculus makes the world reveal its secrets to you, but you may be absorbed in your mind diorama. You don't notice how as crooks steal your pants. <laughs> <laughs> However, low levels, your mind will be blind. Reconstructing crime scenes will be difficult without outside help. Which one of those do you what think kind feels of most like you? Yeah, like, well, let's see if I can play it the way I would like to play a noir t detective drama. Interesting. Would I want to be a brute forcing type? Would I want to be... Well, let, so... I would be reasonably... Di I'm very rhetorical. Uh, yeah. I'm not too perceptive. Very conceptualization. <laughs> the other day, Fraser opened the blinds and it was like really bright in my eyes. And I was like this. <laughs> and it took him like two minutes to... <laughs> noticed that he had opened the blinds directly into my eyes. <laughs> you are not perceptive. Yeah. True crime fresh. I am not a smooth talker, but I am a talker. Can you just be a talker that be smooth talking? I mean, I can be... I... If I... Mm, You're a forceful talker. I'm a, mm, <laughs> I usually... I don't have the, the patience. I could be if I wanted to be, but I don't want to be. Yeah. Alright, anyway, psyche. So... Suggestion. At high levels, suggestions make affable you affable to everyone and more resistant to their charms in turn. But all that schmoozing and oozing charm will make you slimy. And you don't and you'll know it, even if no one else does. With low levels of suggestion, though, you'll have a difficulty getting any kind of rapport with others. You'll be alone both during the day and night. Interesting. Esprit de corps. At high levels, you'll be able to the very heart of pol of the police force. Uh, Oh, because, what does this mean? For, for, cool for cops? Oh, look at, they even give like a, they even give like a thing at the, okay, I can okay. even try to like make my fucking, my, my 29 personalities type. Ooh. Like, they have it up there, like diplomats, charmers, and associate, what's my 20, or whatever, how many personalities is 17. that? 17. Is that what it is? I thought it was way more. 21? Anyways. The one personality quiz that actually, like, is real and makes yeah, sense. Yeah, the, like, ITAL or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what you are now. Uh, at high levels, somebody can search my Twitter would be able to find out. Oh, my God, that would take forever. Twitter search has an advanced search. If you, what? like, put in, like, from this account and type in, like, personality, you might find what I, if I said something about it. Personality or maybe... Yeah. I'd be so curious what you are. I got the same, I've taken it three times, years apart, and always gotten the same I thing. I take it the every... exact same thing every time. I take it, like, every four or five years, and I'm... There's one that I switch between, but three are always the same. Uh, at high level, suggestion makes you affable. Okay, uh, Esprit de Corps is, um, the very spirit of policing, the cop geist. Oh, I'm not a fucking... It enables you to understand blue-souled sisters and brothers not only picking subtle signals from your partner, but also by 
witnessing flash sideways scenes as they play out in your precinct at high levels, you'll be at the very heart of the police force, not willing, not only willing and able to be obliged to take a bullet for your partner, but obliged to take a bullet for your partner. Uh, however, without a spree decor, you'll be flying blind, unable to understand discreet remarks colleagues make in high stakes situations, remarks that might save your life. Um, they hired three, over 300 what? voice what was actors. Budget? What was the size of the team for this game? I'm sorry for those who, I mean, this is an existing game, so it doesn't matter if we're diving right in to see what the game's all about. A lot of people already know, and the people who are here turning in, I probably really want to see me get into the nitty gritty anyways, mm. and see what I think. Um, oh, cool for leaders, authority. That's, I'm going to want levels of this. Uh, at high levels, authority demands respect. Even a perceived slight could send you into a knee-breaking mode. Yeah. <laughs> With low authority, however, you'll forever be in awkward situations like when you suffer psychological breakdowns after you yell at teenagers and they laugh at you. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, my, my personality type is big ideas person, not a doer. I am a, like, conceptual person. I like to come up with the idea and then do Give me the nitty gritties and I do that. Yeah, but I also don't like to delegate. I don't like the work of delegating either. I don't like dealing with the people delegating talent. I don't like, I'm also... I just have to know what he wants. Surprisingly empathetic. I also don't like telling people that their work for me sucks. It's true. <laughs> and... So, Anyways, so that, if you guys have suggestions based on that personality type. Big ideas person, authoritarian, likes to be in charge, but also doesn't like to delegate. 35 in-house employees. Oh. That's it, though, like... At high levels, empathy really puts you in other people's shoes. You'll cry for their sorrows, punch walls to relieve their angers, and be an even more unstoppable cop with low empathy over you. will be an ungainly beast, unable to talk to anyone without upsetting them. It's interesting. I have empathy, but rarely do I act on your care enough. Unless you it's your cat. I will be empathy. You're like max this out. <laughs> At high levels, inland empire animates the inanimate. You'll have conversations with your clothing, conversations that may change the course of the investigation if you're not thrown in the loony bit first. Uh, I have a lot of internal dialogue, but I'm not like crazy like this. With mm. low inland empire, however, you'll be a void of imagination. Void of imagination. Oh, so this is an imaginative oh. type person. So it's the person who can like... So at the maxed out, you talk to yourself audibly and outwardly. Somewhere in the mid-range or upper mid-range, you are just a very imaginative person. Mm -hmm. I might want to go along yeah, with that. Yeah, that's the thing with empathy. Like, I don't cry a lot, but I'm very empathetic. <laughs> Cried in an episode of SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, I cry at movies. I, I, it doesn't take much to set me over the edge with the movies. I really get yeah, but fully invested in characters. But I can also, I'm 100% the other way too. Like, if I dislike characters, I immediately write off everything. I'm like, fuck everybody in this movie. Fuck them all. I hate them all. <laughs> like that type. It's true. At high levels, volition will make you hyper sane when you're about to get funky. <laughs> I love the writing. It keeps you normal. It's about, it's a bit of a party pooper. At low levels, however, you'll be, you'll have little morale. So what is this? Uh, without it, you'll be profoundly unstable, falling apart at the seams. And so it's for, it's cool for sane people, well-adjusted cops, and non the non-suicidal. Volition urges you to be a good guy to others and yourself. It enables you to resist temptation. Beat in a bottle between a pair of legs or at the end of an Fuck iron this barrel. One. Between the legs. Your ability to resist things. It's willpower, basically. Volition, I, I guess that's yeah, obvious. I don't like this one. Oh, and then it says volition gives you the will to finish the investigation, improving your morale. One of the two health pools in the game. There's two health pools in the game morale and actual health, I imagine. Hmm. The will to finish the investigation. So your character can just straight up. Lose enough morale to be like, I don't want to go on. I'm, like, I'm just not going to finish this. Wow. Huh. And then under the physique, I'm probably going to put very little in physique. I, if I'm playing, if I want to play myself, like, ugh. But you're so strong. I've got, does the game have wrist patches in it? <laughs> um, so half light. At high levels, half light will make an ultra attuned, you are ultra attuned to the world. It's a perceptual fear of your own shadow of someone else's name or scent. You'll be ready 
always to pounce and physically interrogate passersby at low levels, however you'll be. So it's like being like fucking on edge and ready to fucking go. But if you have low, your methods will be limp-wristed. Oh, okay, I'll make sure <laughs> that this is low. Oh my god. Those who respect violence will not respect you. So this is the violent on edge at like the drop of a hat. That's like, like baby fresh, or not baby fresh, but like 20s fresh. It's also, the, yeah, fresh. that's the earlier me. And <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we're talking argumentative and like taking issue, but if it's physical we're talking about here, I don't know. It's shoot now, ask questions later, cops. But, uh, interesting. At high levels, shivers will make you seem like the mad to the outside world as you listen to the city and you don't listen to others. You're suspicious. S superiors may begin to worry. With low shivers, though, you'll seldom hear the city speaking to you and you cannot hear. So it's intuition, kind of, and like in tune like with your, your around you. Electrochemistry. At high levels, electrochemistry makes you a man of unrestrained pleasure and un unrepentant Lothario who leers at people at the bottle with a bottle of speed and plastic bendy straw in either hand. <laughs> with But with low electrochemistry, you'll be too innocent to be effective without a working knowledge of drugs and sex, the city will be... So this is your horniness, uh. electrochemistry. It's the animal within you. I could easily make a duck-type character, like an all-out balls-to-the-wall, like my type of character, too. Mm. Muscle man! Did any of you guys play through this in uh, completely... Um, did anybody do simultaneous playthroughs at the same time? Sometimes I like to do that with RPGs. Or did any of you just fully finish, then go back and do a new type of character? My personality test is the defender type, but Captain Awesome looked and didn't see Freezers. You didn't see me post about it. I might, I probably have it saved on my, on my email. You probably do. They send you emails, right? Yeah. Like when you finish you it? You probably have What's it in the your name? email. What's it's the called name? 16 Personality. 16? 16. Only 16? I swear there's more. Here. Nope. Just... What? There's 16. Oh. <laughs> Isn't there like, a, there's like variations on each one though? Like, um, alternate versions? Of, oh, here we go. The last time I took it was in 2019? Mm-hmm, yep, me too. The Defender, that's me, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. This'll maybe help, guys. Why did you get an email and I didn't? Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't. It's a fun idea. I feel like it would be hard to keep track of two different ones. This game is super good for multiple playthroughs. Oh, you think you'd get lost if you're playing two at the same time? Yeah. Oh, bad horse. Is I have a sensitive and aggressive save file. Hmm. Oh, you know who where it would be posted is on Facebook in response to Becca when she posted about it, and then I actually. How you find that? Like when she last, you'd have to go through her profile until you find when she. It would have been in 2019. She yeah. doesn't post a lot, so you might be able to find it. She talks about it, and then I posted in the comments what my results were. I remember that. Can you search, like, personality? <sighs> you might on she the doesn't, web version? She doesn't post a lot. Yeah, she doesn't. Like, You'll I'm be able to get back to 2019. Already. But it might have been the first time I took it, which was way back. But you'll still probably be able to find it. Anyways. All right, guys. So we're just looking into my personality type, which might help us craft my character. At high levels, pain threshold turns in on itself in seriously unhealthy way with full-on self-destructive behavior at pain th at low pain threshold however you'll suffer too easily even a slap from a teenager will make you whine and complain <laughs> i'll keep that low yeah at high levels endurance enables you to take a few knocks to the head enjoy a greater quantity of drugs and shake off cardiac arrests it makes you a powerful man who looks down on the weaklings who can't keep up however the cops with low endurance are likely to struggle. The body is frail already, and the flesh of a cop. What? You found it? No. Oh. 
but Captain Awesome posted the date that I posted it, which is very helpful. Mm. But that might have been the second time we took it, and I think the first time I took it was when she posted it, which would mean years before 2019, I think. But you're going I know. up. Oh, okay. You think there's a search? I'm just looking. Uh, it's so hard to search Facebook. I don't. A single person. I don't profile. want to do this because okay. I I can't listen to what's going on. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know what I am. Yeah. Anyways, um, hand-eye coordination. So that was endurance, the ability to endure things. Mm. Hand-eye coordination at high levels. Hand-eye coordination makes you deadly. I don't have this. Snipers, jugglers. Uh, yeah. Uh, at high levels, coordination will compel you to take the shot, even if it's not the best approach. At low, so, like, you'll want to show off right. your abilities. And at low levels, you'll be more of a disaster in waiting, because when the guns go off, and they always do, you'll probably hit the wrong target. Perception. At high levels, perception takes in every final detail of the physical world enough to overwhelm but all the strongest minds however with low levels you're going to miss out on everything after all you can't arrest what you can't see here or smell mm. um so you don't want to be too low on any of these things and i guess the game like ramps it as you go at high levels reaction speed makes you twitch reflexes freakishly good i don't have this fingers on their feet however with your uh when your body acts before your mind, innocent situations can become bad fast. Oh, so you're too twitchy. You're high strung, overly alert. However, at low levels you won't be able you won't be the one shooting first, which means you probably won't be shooting at all. Save your fa save wa fair. At high levels savoir fair fair will make you king of cool, which mi which is as much to say the most stylish douchebag in Revan mm -hmm. call. I guess that's where we are. Wanna give it back to me? 2017. Ah, Thank you, there you awesome. go. Nobody will see until you're ready to be seen, and then they'll, be, they'll get the full treatment, whether they want it or not, at low levels. So it's this is suaveness. At low levels, however, you'll be a bumbling, feckless cop with unable to catch a pair of keys thrown by your partner. So it's. Yeah, Becca. Hi. Oh. We're looking at your So they were watching. Right <laughs> you go like E N T P A. Oh, what's that mean? Well, there you go. You can look it up. E N T P A. Oh, yeah. You don't need to tell me that. What are you guys doing indoors? Is it raining in okay. Okinawa? I miss um, you. At low levels. I can't get in. Oh. I don't have your face. E N T P A. Um, the intro, the debater. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> okay. Extroverted, intuitive thinking, prospecting. Okay. At high levels of this, this is interfacing, uh, will isolate you from society. Why bother with people when, well, that's weird. That's the counterintuitive. The interfacing would be at high levels makes you unable to interface. With people. Oh, it's interfacing with machines, literally. When you can talk to machines. Oh, I want to. Tinker, this. instrument players, machines. And why bother things like money when you can just pocket that display sandwich? <laughs> At low levels, however, you'll be a crucial part of the world cut off from you. You'll have a crucial part of the world cut off from you. People use machines to commit crimes all the time. If you can't understand how crime was accomplished, how can you solve it? Composure. At high levels, composure makes you tuck your gut in and maintain a stern expression, even lying in bed. Late at night when no one else can see you, you'll have to keep it up. You'll you never be able to stop. <laughs> With low composure, though, you'll be able to you'll be the first to crack all the time. <laughs> every cry every cop's got a point when they're when all their fear and rage comes spilling out and the ones who unleash it don't say the uh, stay on the force much longer. Okay. Perhaps we're still you won't even make the ranks of the fashion police. Um, yeah, I guess the other question is, guys, do you get to upgrade these macros ever? Or is this like... Mm, locked in. Locked in. So based on what I'm seeing there, um, I, I want to put quite a bit into intellect and psych. Yeah. Not almost anything in here. 
like the top two are and a little bit in here because some of these like you need just a bit mm -hmm. um it's locked in wow okay so yeah zero physique i mean yeah you can't even do zero well one i would put yes. one into it maybe because that's more like me i'm not completely can you seriously i'm not the do weakest zero? person i've ever met what can you seriously do zero or is one the lowest you, you can't can do zero okay I could put one into that maybe, but let's see here. I don't think I'm a genius either. I'm like one down from a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. But um, maybe not the greatest. <laughs> yeah. I would say I have, so this is sensitivity, how much of the intelligent you are. And this is also, if we go to next, talks about, what was it again? Volition. It's like your empathy, authority. Yeah, like. It's your ability to deal with people, and I do have an ability, even if I usually want to. You seem wanna... like a two, three in there, maybe? I'm going to put myself at least at four for that. You go for long bike rides. If you're a one, then I'm a minus ten. <laughs> so, like, that leaves me with one left. I think this is mine, then. Yeah? Yeah. What would I have? I would have... Yeah, I think this might be it. Ooh, I don't know what I would have. Your senses and how agile you are. Yeah, okay. All right. This looks good for you. Yeah, I think I like this. And then I get to choose my first one. Um, What's assert yourself. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm assertive as fuck. Yeah, you are. That's my thing. Go back to info then for this one. Oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, sorry. R1. R1 for info on authority? Yeah. It's for... Good for leaders. Yeah. Experts in psychological warfare. Respect junkies. Like, I might even take one out of... I might go like this. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's way smarter people than me. I, I don't have that much broad brain power across the board. I played Jeopardy with you, man. <laughs> you know I'm shit. good. I would say I'm better. I'm good more than great. I'd actually, say you're when great. I think about it, because I don't. I don't have the patience or wherewithal for fucking math. Like I hate it. But I you're really fucking good hate at it. it. Mm -hmm. If you're... I really apply myself, maybe. Like, who fucking has the fucking time? All right. This is, I think this is how I'm going. And I'll learn more as I go. There's a possibility of a re-roll, too, like, as I do with RPGs I like. Here we go, guys. All right. So that'll probably be its own maybe segment. I don't fucking care. I don't know. Get my coffee. The furries are at home in the mirror. It's is their dress in the clear. So I don't fucking Even in the clear water, they can drown? Why the furries get a quote at the beginning? 